from the end of the war in Vietnam, my mom, Yin Tao, and dad, Sa Vang, came to the U.S. afraid of what would happen if they stayed. Thousands of other Hmong fled, afraid of persecution, but were left behind and had to flee into the jungle. My parents were refugees and went into refugee camps in Thailand. After my dad and mom's family came to the U.S., they lived with many relatives and finally, having enough money to rent a two-story house, they lived in the house with my older siblings. And the family grew bigger, so my parents rented a bigger house and lived there for more than 20 years in a town of Fresno, California. They felt sad that they were leaving their own village but knew it was for the best in hopes of raising a new family. Their lives were different because the language was alien to them. They eventually learned bits and pieces but were still learning because when I was born, they still had trouble speaking English. When I was born, I already had 11 siblings older than me and I knew it would be tough but my family was always working together, especially when other people came over. Thanks to the number of the family, cleaning was faster. But due to the big house, it would still be difficult. A few years later, when it nears night, we would clean because my younger siblings would fight and make a mess. And we especially clean after eating because my siblings leave piles of mess on the ground. And those who already had jobs were staying in Fresno and I was left with eight younger siblings and two older siblings, my mom and her boyfriend. After a couple of months, I went to Como Senior High with my sister, while my older other sister went to another school. After the third quarter of the second year, my family moved again to Ham Lake, and my two older siblings came to me with to Andover High School. And now I'm almost finished with my sophomore year.